O Lord, we seek your face through this prayer. Let fresh empowerment be our portion. Father, grant us the power to resist temptation and to walk in your way. Give us the strength and give us the hope and belief to our prayer. Father, make this day a blessful one for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Wednesday, June 26, 2024. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 It's an heaven language. Hallelujah song will never cease our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is God will empower you. God will empower you. I remember first time I find the book of 2 Peter 1 verse 3. I read, According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. In John 20 verse 21, Jesus Christ said, As my Father hath sent me, even so I send you, in Matthew 10 verse 40, he said, He that receive, receive you, receive me, and he that receive me, receive him that sent me. The work of ministry is an assignment from the Father, so when you are called to do something, you can be sure that God himself is backing you all. In John 5 verse 30, Jesus said, I can of my own self do nothing. This is good because whatever you are, to do for God, you cannot do it by yourself, but the Father who sent you will back you all. It is good news because all you have to do is tell him, I can't do it, Lord, but I know you can do it through me. There is something called the God factor. Let God do it. However, he can only do it if you are willing to cooperate. If you believe he can do it, he will do it. If you believe that he can, use you to heal the sick, you have to pay the price and then it will produce the results. Whatever assignments God gave you that seem impossible, talk to him, do your part and it will yield results through you. In Yoruba land, one of the names we call God is Oromonisha Fire Tea. It means the one who sent the child or assignment and back the child up. When God sends you an assignment, He stays with you and empower you to ensure that you fulfill the assignment. Many people don't fulfill their assignment because they hardly go through God for instruction. They start to work quite aright, but they hardly pray for direction, whereas it is a place of prayer that God will give them instruction. On each step to take, they keep doing everything to make the work succeed, but when it is time to make decisions, they don't ask God for the best decision to make. After a while, when they realize that they are not fulfilling the assignments, they are kiss in of helping others and not helping them. Below, you cannot do anything by yourself. John 15 verse 5, the work God has given you to do cannot be done by your power or might but by his spirit. Zechariah 4 verse 6, if you really want to fulfill your destiny, don't learn on your understanding, learn on God alone. Then, I want us to read Isaiah 41, verse 10 to 13, and our Bible in one year, Psalm 120, verse 133. Our hymn in 28, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, guide me. O thou, great Jehovah. Our reflection for today, are you depending totally on God? 
to help you fulfill your destiny? Are you depending totally on God to help you fulfill your destiny? And I pray God will make you His way. God will make you His right path. And God will make you the truth knowledge about yourself to make everything work for your good. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brent, this is Love Road. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God, we never live your life. Have a nice day, and bye for now. God bless you. Happy Wednesday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.